Let's hear from Diana in Wisconsin. Democrats line. Good morning. Good morning. It's more of a comment to the people, the good people of all colors, white, black, brown, yellow, whoever, that Joe Biden's uh, presidency, three-fourths of it, has been cleaning up the horrendous mess of Donald Trump and the Republicans. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And does Marge the Trainwreck Green have Kevin McCarthy's manhood in the bottom of her purse? A C-SPAN caller sure thinks so, calling the disgraced Speaker of the House castrated and had his private parts transferred to Marge the Trainwreck Green. And if McCarthy wouldn't have been castrated and his private transplanted on to Marjorie Taylor Green and some of these other senators, Republican senators, that believed in the big lie, which we now know never happened, all over the country, the electorates, the whatever, this country wouldn't be so in the sewer. Although the caller sounded like she had a mouthful of yellow jackets, she was spot on with her assessment. It was cringeworthy to watch, too. The camera was focused on one host, and she looked uncomfortable as hell. It looked like she was texting someone on her phone to get her the heck off the screen near the end of the call. The caller argued that Joe Biden had devoted most of his presidency to cleaning up the mess of Donald Trump and the Republicans around the world. She went on to say that if McCarthy wouldn't have been castrated and his privates transplanted onto Marge the Trainwreck Green, this country wouldn't be so in the sewer. In a separate broadcast, AOC weighed in on the Georgia Sasquatch and her seemingly firm grip on power over Kevin McCarthy. They still don't know the details on <laughs> Now, Speaker McCarthy, in order to become Speaker, had to cut some deals. We still don't know the details on. <laughs> do you think he's actually running his caucus, or do you think someone else is? He's not. I don't. Who's running it? I think you you've got Marjorie Taylor Greene running the caucus. I mean, and she makes very common public statements to that effect. Every time something irks her, she communicates that McCarthy is doing her bidding. Appearing on Inside with Jen Psaki Sunday, the New York Congresswoman essentially argued that Kevin McCarthy is a puppet. She believes that the Georgia Neanderthal is actually calling the shots. Psaki pointed out that McCarthy, in order to become Speaker, had to cut some backroom deals with the extremists in his own party. I think that this is something that is quite clear. I think that Speaker McCarthy is stuck between having to please the most racist and heinous elements of his party with having to maintain a majority. And he is choosing to side Oops. with the extremists. Do you worry he'll have the votes to pass his debt limit proposal? I don't. And I think that that's actually the political situation that we're in right now, is that he's kind of brought himself up a creek without a paddle. AOC said she thinks that McCarthy is stuck between having to please the most racist and heinous elements of his party with having to maintain a majority, and he is choosing to side with the extremists. Kevin McCarthy doesn't have a backbone, and apparently doesn't have a set of clangers either. AOC added he's kind of brought himself up a creek without a paddle. The scary part in all of this is the thought of that scraggly jackaloon Marge the Trainwreck Green calling the shots for the Republicans and going after programs that actually help people. Marge is a disaster and needs to be pulled from her committee assignments. She is an absolute wreck and Kevin McCarthy isn't any better for submitting to her. They are both a clear and present danger and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.